Hi, this is Mark Passwaters, the publisher of AggieL.com, with three quick things for Thursday, February 14th, 2019. Happy Valentine's Day. If you forgot, go get your spouse, girlfriend, whoever, something fast. Okay, thing number one. SEC Media Days were formally announced today. It's going to be July 15th through the 18th, back at the Winfrey Hotel in Hoover, Alabama. No offense to the Winfrey no offense to Hoover, but I hope it's the last time it's there because it's kind of boring. Anyway, A&M is scheduled to be there on the 16th. Uh, the way the schedule looks, it looks like Jimbo will probably be the last speaker on that day, which is Tuesday. Um, every year, they take three players with them, so it's time to start your guessing. If I had to pick three players right now, it would be Kellen Mond because he's the quarterback. Justin Matabuike, because he is the probably best known, uh, most productive, and senior member of the defense. And Braden Mann, because he's a record breaker. And when Drew Kayser went a couple years ago, it was great. It drove people crazy, so do it again. Uh, thing number two. Uh, this has more to do with the draft than anything. It looks like A&M's players are starting to get a little bit of traction, at least in the minds of the analysts. Like I said a couple weeks ago, you can throw that out the window, but it's still positive because they've got to be talking to somebody, right? Um, I read something yesterday on NFL.com where they were talking about players teams should start to focus on at the Combine. Not necessarily first-round picks. Most of them were mid-round picks. But three players from A&M came up. Jay Sternberger with the Jaguars, uh, Eric McCoy for the Dolphins, and Kingsley Kiki for Seattle. Sternberger is an interesting case because the Jags have a tight end, but they don't really have a pass catcher, and they need weapons. So it makes sense, but there are a lot of teams that Sternberger could fit for in the mid-rounds. Uh, McCoy, the way they were talking, they seems like he's worked his way into second, early, third-round territory. Uh, you know, when they start talking about a big boost, that's very positive. So that's something to watch. And interestingly enough, Kiki is a guy that had a very good senior bowl. Uh, so did Dalen Mack, and I'm going to get to a little more on him in a minute. But they want Kingsley Kiki in the minds of NFL.com to fill the Michael Bennett role in Seattle. So one Aggie for another? Okay. Uh, Mack continues to look good in the eyes of many observers. Uh, I still think he's kind of a mid-round guy, but a good combine could push him all the way up to second. The second round, by that I mean. And Travion Williams got some good love last night on Twitter with Lance Zerline, who works for NFL.com, as well as hosting a Houston radio show, saying he's probably the best blocking running back in the draft. So that's a good thing. And then thing number three. Uh, there is a report out that... Pac-12 teams have gotten far less for what they thought they would from the Pac-12 network. They were guaranteed between 3 and $5 million a year by Larry Scott when the network kicked off a couple years ago. According to the reports, at least in the Seattle paper and a couple others, they've gotten a million and a half the first three years and then $2.6 million this year. So they haven't gotten anywhere close. And the conference members are pretty ticked off about it. The SEC network started at $5 million. That's what teams were getting from the day it kicked off. So aren't you happy to be in the SEC and not somewhere else? Anyway, see you Friday.